Hi there Aries, I hope you're well. Welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. In this reading I'm going to look at who your next true love just may be, their characteristics. A bit of fun, let's see who might be coming forward for you if you are single, available and, and wanting that. So I have got the Empress. The Empress here links to both Taurus and Libra energy and this is the real energy of the divine feminine. So whether they're male or female it's somebody who is really in tune with themselves, somebody who knows how to move with the natural rhythms of this cycle, their body, maybe somebody who is quite interested in health and well-being. It can be somebody who is really really grounded and earthy who really likes the kind of sensual things in life as well. So it is a really beautiful energy, it's a really nurturing energy, it is also a, a sign of um, fertility and it is somebody who knows how to create things, somebody who's not ju just talk but somebody who actually makes things happen, actually knows how to get things off the ground. What else do we have for you Aries? Maybe somebody created as well with that Empress energy. Oh, Ace of Cups. Wow, okay. Um, somebody who is very, very emotionally connected, compassionate, full of empathy, knows how to express their feelings, knows how to be vulnerable with you and come forward with an open heart. Um, somebody who's done a bit of work on themselves, who's kind of gone through transformations here as well, um, could potentially have strong water energy in their chart as well with the Ace of Cups, but somebody who's not afraid to wear their heart on their sleeve, to show emotion, to shed a few tears. It's a real kind of King of um, King of Cups energy. I've got the, uh, the Five of Swords. It's in reverse here. It could be somebody who has overcome conflict and hardship in their lives. Maybe that is the, the work they've done on themselves and the self-development and now why they're showing up in a softer energy. Could be somebody who has resolved even like anger management or aggression or that kind of thing or who's gone through hardship earlier in their lives and it has shaped them to be who they really are now. So that is the five of pentacles for me. Somebody who knows how to act fairly, knows when to walk away from situations of conflict. Let's grab another one. The Knight of Wands. This can be a Sagittarian energy. It is fire energy as well, but this is the energy of, of passion. It could be somebody who has a lot of energy, who is really passionate about what they're doing, um, with their life in the world. Somebody who who doesn't, again, it's that, that feeling of somebody who doesn't just uh, talk, somebody who walks the walk. So we've got the number three, the three sand dunes about manifestations as well. It could be somebody who is quite sexual, who has a lot of fire in their belly, that kind of thing. Somebody who is not afraid to to lead the charge, to be seen and to move into new frontiers. It's definitely not a complacent energy. It's somebody who always loves excitement and challenge and um, exploring as well. The Knight of Wands is a real energy of exploration. Somebody who is up for it. Somebody who just likes to, to go for it and not sit around. Somebody who's adventurous. What else do we have? Oh, the Emperor. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, guys, this could be your divine counterpart that is coming in next because we have got a major arcana couple here with the Empress and the Emperor. And of course, Aries, the Emperor is your energy. You know, the Emperor is somebody who, if we can relate it to your person, that is the reading, somebody who is not afraid to step up and lead to take control, to take charge, you know, when it's a healthy energy, it's somebody who really knows how to um, use their kind of leadership and, and their authoritarian energy in a positive way. It could be somebody who is a, a, a boss, mentor or leader in the workplace as well. It could be somebody who is a little bit older than you as well, somebody who is quite experienced in their life, somebody who knows, you know, 
that they do have this open heart and emotional connection but when they kind of need to they know how to protect themselves from their emotions and make really good strategic decisions to make uh, to move forward could be somebody who's quite stable in their life you know the emperor is somebody who knows how to empire build knows how to take their ideas and actually manifest them into realization so i'm looking pretty positive here aries i mean the next true love could be the one for you with it doesn't happen very often when we have the tarot couple here and all these cards in between. So that's what I have for you, Aries, in terms of your next true love. I really wish for all of you that this person comes in because it looks pretty good. Um, feel free to, to drop me a comment if this resonated for you. Do keep in mind it's a, it's a general reading, guys, and it's a forward projection. We will wait and see and if this person comes forward for you. But if you'd like to share, drop me a comment and um, I will see you again for another reading really soon. Bye for now.